Hey everyone, it's Kim here with Whiny Women doing some wine reviews today. Guess what today is? Today is Turkey Day, Thanksgiving here in the U.S. Um, uh, not everyone celebrates it, but it is a holiday that we are celebrating today. Uh, turkey is in the oven, just about to be done. Pies, mashed potatoes, cranberries, all that other jazz. And what left do I need to do is to review some wines so that I could have wines tonight. I said wines, yes. I'll be doing three different reviews, so... Um, make sure you look at them all. So the first one we're going to do tonight um, is by Pepe, and it is the Pinot Grigio 2011. And I love I love their design. Um, they only do four white wines. That's all they do. Um, and if you go back to Wine Women, you'll see uh, the other ones I did. I think I did a Chenin Blanc one. Um, but this one's the Pinot Grigio. And I'm excited because I think um, on a day such as today, there needs to be some white wines that come before the uh, the dinner. And then I'm a red wine fan, so I'm going to drink red wine at some point tonight. So, um, But we are going to uh, review this Pinot Grigio from Pepe, and I appreciate them sending this out for me to sample. Uh, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Gris, um, they are one of my favorite whites. Um, and they come in all gamuts. I mean, um, these guys are from California, um, and you can go to whinywomen.com, click on the link to their website, and check them out. Um, but it, the website just reminds me of fun and on the beach, and so when I drink their wines, that's kind of where I put myself in. And today in Colorado Springs, where we're at, it's it's high 60s, almost 70s. It's really, really, really warm. I mean, I have a, a long sleeve on, and it's a little too warm, so I might have to go change. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Started with this Pinot Grigio um, from Pepe 2011 and they are there located in California. I love the color on this wine. It's um, it's lighter than a straw color um, but it looks very crisp and refreshing just in here. It almost makes you want to jump into the wine. So let's go ahead and take a smell. And you smell right off the bat there's like green apples on there. There's some like honeydew it smells. Maybe maybe a hint of floral, but not like, it's just like a hint. It smells very crisp and clean, and let's take a sip. You get that honeydew on the tongue, right, at the beginning. It's not overpowering and, and fruit flavors. And it's very soft. I mean, it hits you right at the beginning. Kind of has like that, um, I'm assuming they did this in um, like stainless steel. You get kind of that little bit of flavor in there. And then it just soft. It's it's a very, very light wine. Um, there's not a whole lot um, of action going on. Um, but it's a, it's an easy drink, which will be make will make it nice for the beginning of my dinner. You know, you get the stuff, you get new flavors and new smells all the time, every time you taste it. It's very tangy at the end, kind of the acidic, um, but this is good. It's a very light wine. This wine, I could see a summer, like at the beach, chilling it and hanging out with your friends and going and um, drinking this wine. I like it. It's making my mouth kind of salivate, which is good. It's kind of a good after effect, so... Um, this wine probably will just get better as you leave it open and you drink it. So um, I appreciate this wine from Pepe. It's the 2011 Pinot Grigio. Um, you guys have a good uh, Thanksgiving if you're celebrating. And next time, I'll see you. Cheers.